The M1A1A Prime's tanks hold significant importance for Ukraine, especially in the context of its military capabilities and strategic defense posture. On February 23, 2024, the 47th separate mechanized brigade of the Ukrainian armed forces unveiled footage showcasing the first combat deployment of the U.S. supply M1A1A Prams main battle tank against Russian forces. This marks a significant milestone following the confirmation by both Ukrainian soldiers and U.S. officers in November 2022 that all 31 Abrams tanks donated to Ukraine had reached their intended destination. M1A1A Prams participated in the first clash in Ukraine. Russian military reporters reported that the Ukrainian M1A1A Prams main battle tank was destroyed near Avdika. The exact timing of this unfortunate incident remained unknown. Nevertheless, a video circulated a few days ago showcased this very Abrams tank stationed at Avdika. Footage from the location presents a graphic image of the tank's dome engulfed in fires in multiple areas. Speculation is rife that the tank fell victim to a drone strike led by the Russian motorized brigade. The fate of the crew is unknown. It was inevitable this could happen. Two years into Russia's wider war on Ukraine, explosive drones, loitering airplane style models, as well as first-person view quadcopters are among the biggest threats to ammo vehicles on both sides. They can strike where the vehicle's ammo is the thinnest, their roofs. No tank is invulnerable, and almost tanks are especially vulnerable to top-down attacks. The 31 Abrams the United States pledged to the Ukrainian war effort arrived in Ukraine back in the fall. Videos that the Ukrainian Defense Ministry circulated online on Friday depict the tanks, arguably the best in Ukraine's inventory, rolling along the roads outside Stepov, north of the ruins of Avdika, and firing at Russian forces, apparently at night. Ukraine got the 2000 vintage M1A1 situational awareness model of A-Prams with tungsten armor, side-mounted M19 reactive armor blocks, a 120mm smooth ball gun, and high-fidelity day-night optics. The M1A1 A-Prams is a third-generation American main battle tank named after General Creighton Abrams. It was first employed in combat during the Persian Gulf War and has played a significant role in the United States military ever since. The tank is chiefly recognized for its advanced armor and superior firepower, presenting a marked advantage on the battlefield. The M1A1A Prams is powered by a Honeywell AGT-1500 multi-fuel turbine engine, producing 1500 horsepower. This allows the tank to reach a top speed of up to 42 miles per hour on roads and 25 miles per hour off-road. The engine's multi-fuel capability ensures it's effectively run on any grade of petrol, diesel, efficient fuel or a kerosene. The operational range of the tank is impressive. With a full fuel load of 500 gallons, the M1A1A Prams can traverse up to 265 miles on roadways 
and 150 miles off-road before needing refueling. This range can be further extended with the use of external fuel tanks. The M1A1A Prams is equipped with a 120mm smooth gun capable of firing a variety of shells. These include the M829A1 APFS DST, the M830 HIT, and the M1028 shell. The M829A1 is known as the Silver Bullet, is particularly effective against enemy armor. The armor of the M1A1A Prams is one of its most notable features. The tank uses composite armor, which includes a layer of depleted uranium for increased protection. The armor is modular, making it possible for damaged sections to be replaced quickly. Additionally, the tank is equipped with a nuclear, biological, and chemical protection system ensuring the crew's safety in a multitude of combat situations. The integration of APRAM's tanks into Ukraine's military arsenal allies with a broader strategy aimed at strengthening the country's defense capabilities, including a reinforced focus on domestic production. These tanks will complement existing Western manufacturer models already in Ukraine's possessions, such as the Swedish Stritzvan 122, German Leopard 2A4 and 2A6, and British Challenger 2. At present, Ukrainian forces confront well-fortified Russian positions across a substantial front line. The introduction of APRAM's tanks is expected to enhance their firepower and aid in maneuvering through these fortified positions. Nevertheless, uncertainties persist due to the refurbishment process, which involves the removal of sensitive technologies, including classified depleted uranium armor, from older vehicles. Recent events have underscored the effectiveness of Russian forces in neutralizing Western supply tanks like the Challenger 2 and Leopard 2A4. While the possibility of APRAM's tanks being targeted during the conflict is anticipated, their crews are expected to have a higher chance of survival compared to crew members of older Soviet times.